obviously he's a, you know, he's a put together really well, uh, explosive kid. He's going to challenge your leverage, you know, and, and some of these guys, um, you know, they want to get to the edge and get the ball at the field. He wants to challenge your leverage and make a cut and, and really go. Uh, hasn't been a lot of single tackles on this guy, so a lot of hats need to get to the football, um, but obviously he's leading the NCAA in rushing. I think he's got like nine yards of carry, so uh, he's a really good football player. How have you guys just tackled so far for four games? Um, the first three I thought we tackled really well. The last game, a little disappointed um, in the tackling. And I think we need to get that cleaned up. Uh, now, obviously, they got some really good players they had in space, so you're going to have a, a, a few extra misses, but a little too many for me. Uh, and I think I think we're a much better tackling team than we showed last week. Along with the good running game, they also have two wideouts who are pretty good too. Uh, they try to get the ball in space. And just what, what I guess stress does that put on your defense? Yeah, I think I think those guys are uh, their receivers are, are really good and they're really really dangerous too when they're throwing them up 50-50 balls. Um, you know, the receiver and the quarterback were high school teammates, so they obviously got really good chemistry. And I think he's had a catch for 75 and one for 85. So anytime a guy's hitting home runs, it makes you, you know, you always got to know where he's at and you always got to do a good job of, of either getting a cloud on him or getting a, a thirds player on him and getting some reroute help. Um, but they're, they're really good receivers and they can make you pay in the pass game. Yeah, obviously, it's same, uh, same offensive coordinator. Uh, Jay Johnson does a really good job. Uh, there's a carryover from Colorado. There's carryover from last year. Uh, I respect what they do. They do what they do, and they're going to get really good at it. Um, and then they're going to have complimentary plays off their base, off their base uh, runs and their base passes. So I think they do a nice job with, uh, you know, they can block every front. They know what they're doing. And then they have nice compliments, nice wrinkles off of their, their base stuff. Yeah, uh, you know, right now we're doing a much better job of keeping the quarterback in the pocket. Um, obviously, the sack's disappointing, um, but when you look at it globally, you know, there's been a lot of times where the guy's getting the ball out because he's getting pressured. Um, we're doing a good job of getting our hands and throwing lanes. Um, you can affect the quarterback in a lot of different ways. You can affect the quarterback by hits on the quarterback, hurries on the quarterback, uh, crushing the pocket and making him throw it out of the well. Um, and then obviously when you get sacks, that's a, that's a really big factor. Um, but I think we've done a good job with everything, except for we haven't got to the quarterback enough. Uh, you know, Spencer Rattler did a nice job of, he always does a great job of getting out of the pocket. Um, but the good thing is I think we, we kept him, you know, for the most part behind the line of scrimmage. He had a couple of nice scrambles, um, but behind the line of scrimmage and making him throw balls that maybe he didn't want to throw. Uh, they did a good job in protection. They kept the back end most of the day on our guys. Uh, but. We all know we got to get sacks. Is that a sign of respect when they keep a back end that they're at least acknowledging that you're, yeah. you're pretty decent at making pressure? Yeah, you know, I, I think that, you know, it's a, a couple different things. You know, it's, it's, that's, that's part of their protection scheme, number one. Um, you know, they have really good receivers, and they want to give him a chance to get the ball to him um, with a good, really good quarterback. So um, probably a little bit of everything. Uh, to be honest with you, I've been pretty busy. I haven't looked. I haven't looked at too many. Um, I like. I like that stat, right? Um, so that's the one I'm worried about. Obviously, you, you look at things and where are you deficient, where are you um, efficient. Um, I know right now, Oklahoma, we didn't get off the field on third down enough, um, and that's got to get better. Uh, some of that's on me too. I need to do a better job with that. Uh, but but we need to get off the field a little better. Um, but the rest of the stats, I couldn't really tell you right now. I mean, every defender that's spoken since Saturday is like, yeah, they played well, but there's more. There's more. I mean, do you, do you like when you hear that from your guy? Just sort of the mentality of <coughs> building up there, like there, there's another level to go. Yeah, I think that, you know, you, you fall into a trap a little bit sometimes, right? When somebody says, well, hey, good job. You guys played played well against Oklahoma. And you can be like, yeah, we did. Or you can look at the film and be objective and say, that wasn't as good as we are. Because we had a chance to do some really special things, I think, on Saturday. They did play good. The kids played really hard. The assistant coaches and the players did a great job in preparation this week. Um, the kids' effort was un unbelievable. 
but I think they all know that there's more out there. We could have fit a couple things better. We could have tightened things up a little bit. You know, we could have got off the field a little earlier on that last drive. But th th those kids realize that when you when you set out a goal and you want to do something, you can't just be satisfied with you guys played good. You know, we need to get this thing airtight. What's been your initial thoughts on Thorne as a quarterback? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, you look at talk about stats, right? The one thing I look at right away is how many tucked, how many touchdowns, how many interceptions. He's got nine and zero. So he's efficient with the football. Uh, you know, the other thing about him is he's, he doesn't make mistakes with the football. You know, he would rather take a sack or, or throw it away, which is, you know, he's a good decision maker. And then the other thing is, is you look at him play and you think, well, he's not that fast, but then he pulls one down or he, he keeps one off a, off a run. He's not a huge quarterback run game, but when he does keep one, you're like, oh, shit, he can roll a little bit, you know? So uh, I, I have a lot of respect for him and what they do with him and their system. What's their, what's their level of complexity? Elaborate on that, Sip. Oh, I mean, how complex are they on offense? Um, you know, how complex are they? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, everybody's got their scheme. Yeah. You know, everybody's got their, and you just kind of, you know, kind of get it to where it's manageable for the defensive players. Um, everybody's got some issues, you know, and those are the ones we got to attack. I mean, nobody invents hardly a bunch of new plays. You know, there's a, some different version of plays. There's different formations, different motion adjustments. But a lot of the plays throughout the season are carryover. Then it's the wrinkles. Then it's the adjustments. Then it's the, uh, you know, the, the unusual formations. Those are the things that we really have to get to. And they do have some of both of those. They have some unusual motions. They have some unusual formations where they're creating an extra hitter in the box. Um, and then they do have some some difficult play passes where they're going to, you know, with their run game, they're going to get people sucked up and then they're going to hit you deep. So you have to have your eyes really, really right and you got to read your keys. So to me, I, I don't know about complexity, but to me, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. What I was getting at a little bit is they brought in a lot of transfers, like 20 across the state. It was the second year staff, but they seemed to be on the same page. So I, I just thought maybe. Oh, I think, I think, I don't know to say that's probably wrong, because they do have a lot of, they do have a lot of interesting wrinkles to base plays, and and to me like that's, that's really good football, when you run your stuff, but then you have really good wrinkles off it. You have the RPOs that you know complement it. You have the ability to run the same look, and it's a different play and it's a different fit on defense. So I think there's a lot of complexity within their scheme. It's not one of those deals where you see 87,000 different formations and it's a different play every time. Like I said, they're going to run their stuff and they're going to be really good at it. If you're going into this season thinking which of the Braxton could take up that, that one side and just hold their own, or have they <coughs> elevated even beyond what you maybe hoped early on? Yeah, I didn't know what to think. You know what I mean? Uh, but those guys, to me, it's about practice, right? The game takes care of itself with, with the players. I got, I got some stuff to do on game day, obviously. Um, I got to create an environment for them to be successful and then get out of their way. But those guys have shown through fall camp and through practice that they belong, that they deserve to play in every football game, whether it's Oklahoma or whether it's you know one of our early non-con games. They deserve to play in that game, and if their number gets called, they're ready. Uh, to, to be honest with you, and me and Brax have already talked about this, so I'm not, you know, I'm not afraid to say it. But to be honest with you, in the in the box, when I saw exactly his technique and what he was doing, I said he's picking this, guys. This is picked. And then he came up this close to to not picking it or to picking it, and and you know it was a PBU. Um, it was great coverage. It was a great play. I've seen Braxton make that pick a thousand times, and I thought he was going to pick it. That's that's the confidence that we have in him. It, you guys have been really good at just covering deep routes, carrying routes, whatever you want to call it. Why, why have you guys been so good at that this year? Uh, like I said, you know, I think guys understand splits, they understand formation, they understand where their eyes are supposed to be. Coach Fish does an unbelievable job with with technique with those guys, um, and you know, and they know what they they can give up and what they can't give up. Um, 
we're always going to you know try to err on giving uh, playing the the deep ball playing top down and, and breaking down on on short throws um, but but coach fish has done a great job with those guys and they're they're playing really really well in coverage right now